Hi guys, I'm David Busher from Busher Racing. Most of you know me. We're going to title this video, How to Catch a Thief. Could also be called How to Catch a Liar, Backstabber, Asshole, Two-Faced Prick. Name it what you want, but for now we're going to go with How to Catch a Thief. Back in August of this year, we had one of our dealers come here to have an engine installed for the shootout. While he was here, we noticed his battery tray didn't look quite right in his car. It's been a three and a half month ordeal to actually catch the guy, but now that we have, I wanted to make it public. Some funny things that have happened along the way, I posted this on Facebook that we found a dishonest dealer. This particular guy has posted numerous times that he couldn't wait to see the outcome. Well, James Reese from Reese Tuning, now you know I got you. So, this is what happened. I had a friend of mine go back home to Texas and order a set of his uh, 276 KK cams and a Busher Racing battery tray. James told him it was in stock. This was on, uh, the order was originally placed August 31st. On 9-13, my friend got the order. Everything was in stock, good to go. I'd like to show you the original invoice here. Dated August 27th for a Busher Racing Evo 8 and 9 battery tray, $145. I sent all this money total. PayPal, total was $791.25. Paid in full, $827. He even gave us a nice sticker so we can advertise his parts. So, let me go back just a bit. This is an actual Busher Racing battery tray sold as we sell. As you can see, there's no holes in this plate. The aluminum has a really nice finish. Most importantly, when you put the battery in, we've been down this road before. I've done another video on this. When you put the battery in it, I don't even have to tighten this very tight. As you can see, this battery does not move. I'm trying to slide it, move it, it doesn't move. That's why I pass tech inspections when you go road racing, drag racing, whatever. Those thick tech guys grab it and rattle it. So the first battery tray that showed up was in fact a Busher Racing battery tray. I was heartbroken to see it because I know he had copied the product. The battery tray that showed up was this one. As you can see, it's the exact part, except somebody sandblasted it. And you could see where the old bolt holes were. And you can see here that it had been bolted in. You can also see here where someone had drilled it and tapped it to mount a CDI box to. So I contacted my friend, asked him to contact James Reese at Reese Tuning in California, and let him know that this battery tray looked like a busher tray that originally that someone had sandblasted. James apologized and said that someone had returned one because there was a problem with the, the rod. Well, there's no problem with this rod, but, and he must have mistakenly shipped it to him. So, we have the original, we have the original that James sold as a new Busher Racing product that's actually a used one that he sandblasted. And then after all this time, James wanted my friend Mike to wait. He said, I got a big shipment coming in from Bushers. I could have him drop ship you one, but if you could wait, I can make a better profit on it. My friend, knowing that we wanted the copy trade, said, no problem, buddy, I can wait for you. Finally today, December 8th, three and a half months later, we received the new Busher Racing battery tray from the huge shipment that was coming in from Bushers. Well, let me tell you something. James hasn't bought a battery tray from us in almost two years. This is his copy. As you can see, some kind of squiggly finish on it. I don't know if it's uh, in the aluminum or what. Here's the best part. Put your battery in. Put your plate on. The moron couldn't even do a good copy. This battery tray sucks. Although at first glance, if you bought it, you think you got our part. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to actually tighten this one. The other one was finger tight. Now, look at the battery. It's got play front, back, rear. It's, it's a shit fit. See how much room there is in here? This doesn't hold the battery. That's why I noticed it on his car. So what we have here is a guy that's just flat out dishonest. One thing I can't stand in life is a liar and a thief. James Reese is a liar and a thief. Lied to my customer, made him wait for Busher Racing parts three and a half months to sell him some knockoff that he probably has made in China or by some illegal Mexicans in California. I don't know where they're made. He's constantly buttered my balls and told all his customers what a great Busher Racing vendor he is when in fact he's just a thief. 
My advice is, if you're dealing with James Reese, get as far away from you as you can. And if you have a battery tray that fits like this, I would request a refund and get the real part. Thanks for listening. James, that's for you, buddy.